up, but they know who coming up, and I'm still on my way. But the top don't look too far for me. Never caught off that one day. And I'm still on my way. Still on my way. Yeah. I'm just greedy like Chubbs with a hustle like Pope. Trying to get it out the mud like what I'm supposed to do. It was in my blood, my family even knew. 22 I blew, I owe everything the truth. Something not of nothing, that's a cold situation. Know they probably hot, but they froze in the faces. I didn't even rush, I was chosen, but patient. Feeling like Russ, I went gold out the basement. Get it by the... Running eagle chains by the dressing told that I love him, it's a whole celebration. Barely getting started, but still gotta embrace it. When it's from the bottom, it's a different foundation. Yeah, it's a different bag waiting on the other side. I just wanna live in salvation. We ain't had enough. Speaking down, but they know who coming up, and I'm still on my way. But the top don't look too far for me. Never caught off not one day. And I'm still on my way, still on my way, and I'm still on my way, still on my way. But the top don't look too far for me. No, the top don't look too far. Never caught off not one day. Never caught off not oh, one day. But I'm still on my way. Yeah. What you want, what's the point at all? I'm living my best life, got things on the hot library. Yeah, baby, if I don't keep it 100 with you, me and you will always have this issue. I'll make up your mind, you ain't gotta worry, you ain't gotta lie, you ain't gotta love me. Don't love life, why you being petty? Oh, gotta stop being a. I don't have a trip, that's not what I I'ma choose for you Every single time you hit me up With a new excuse I just fall back I just fall back Anytime I think That we getting close You get out of pocket with Stop doing the most I just hope your energy's the same As soon as I go ghost I just fall back I just fall back Yeah, baby. I gotta be your number one. Can't sit up for no number two. So go ahead and keep playing dumb. Soon you won't have to face the truth. I'll make up your mind. You ain't gotta worry. You ain't gotta lie. You ain't gotta love me. Don't the vibe. Why you being petty? Oh, gotta stop being a. I don't have a trip. That's not what. to the ceiling if they ain't with it let them know fall back quick i'ma let you go i don't have a trip that's not what i do all i know if you can't make a choice i'ma choose for you every single time you hit me up with the new excuse i just fall back i just fall Yo.
La mente rezando el sky, yeah. Tinto suelta la trompeta que siempre que lo hace un palo, eh. Le pese, you know, esta vida, mami, es un regalo. La isla se robó el show y yo que solamente puse a mi mano. Y yo si me entrego el don, te juro que se siente muy... Cuando era un tiempo de comienzo, y eh. Yo está pasando muy rápido, me da vertigo que ves que lo pienso. Pero se me pasa cuando recuerdo todo el sacrificio y esfuerzo, yeah. O cuando ella me da un beso, cada vez que me pongo ten suel. Ya que me junté con Sergi, sabía de sobra que haríamos historia. Grabamos mil palos, reímos, lloramos, papi, y el resto es historia, yeah, yeah. Momentos que nunca se nos irán de la memoria. L, -I -L -B, mami, es que ya hay los favoritos de tu novia. Nunca me olvido de los que estuvieron en los tiempos que estaban mal. De Paris con Rosito y Edu cuando el pisa la capital. Es un día quiero que vos y Sao hablen en mi documental. Confiaron en mí cuando no era nadie, confiaron en mí cuando no había nada. Mami, ahora tenemos de todo, tenemos para coger. Ya no intenten hablar con Feliz, él tampoco va a coger. 2021 sembrar, 2022 recoger, 2023 coronar, 2024 desaparecer. Yeah. Mami, está tranquila, papi, está tranquilo. ¿Qué más quiero? El dinero no me pone con tetón, que ofrezcan 7-0. La porche cae en color, asientos de cuero. Pegado en la isla, pegado en España, pegado en el mundo entero. En el colegio mi hermana frontea de ser mi hermana. Yeah. Mi otra hermana también frontea de ser mi hermana. Yeah. Mi piba frontea, se saca fotos. Yeah. Y la mamá no frontea, pero podría solo por ser mi mamá. Me río porque habla de mí y eso que ni me ven. Y yo escribiendo y me vi en la cima sin querer. Y ahora solamente se ve la punta del iceberg. Papi, no hay uno más duro. Si es que lo hay, dime quién. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Que me con el lindo más. Yeah, el EPS, you know. Lindo suelta la trompeta que siempre que lo hace un palo, eh. El PS, you know. Esta vida, mami, es un regalo. La isla se robó el show. Yo que solamente puse mi mano y yo si me entrego el don. Te juro que se siente muy que tu colega sea tu inspiración. Solo éramos cuatro trabajando cuando era el tiempo de comienzo. Y yo está pasando muy rápido, me da vertigo que ves que lo pienso. Pero se me pasa cuando recuerdo todo el sacrificio y esfuerzo, yeah. O cuando ella me da un beso, cada vez que me pongo tenso. The starting lineup for the visiting Oklahoma City Thunder. At small forward, Lugans Dorst. At shooting guard, Josh Kitty. At the other forward position, Jake Williams. Center, Chet Holmgren. At the other guard position, Shea Gilgis Alexander. The head coach of the visiting team is Mark Dagnall.
everybody. We're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. I'm Brian Anderson, alongside Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and Ali LaForce. And here's a look at some numbers for Shea Gilgis-Alexander. And his foul shooting has looked a little weaker over the last five games compared to where he was the rest of the season. I know how frustrating that can be, and I'm sure he's eager to turn it around. And the Oklahoma City starting five. Inside, we got Williams and Holmgren. Josh Giddy out there with Shea Gilgis-Alexander. And it's Dort in at small forward. And for the Pelicans, Ingram and Zion, your small and power forwards. The backcourt for Cullivan Jones. And it's Valanchunas in at the five, down low. Pretty interesting backcourt matchup here, Grant, with a lot of star power at the guard positions on both sides. And you know, traditionally, B.A., when big guys match up, it's all about the power. But this contest is about finesse. Who can outplay and outsmart the competition? McCullum against Gilgis Alexander. Ingram deciding where to go with it. Dort with a steal. Here's the break. Here's Giddy. And a two-handed jam. Yeah, an amazing find. How about the patience from Dort? Waits for his man to get open and feeds him. Jones from outside. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. And here's Gilgis Alexander. He'll bring it up for the Thunder. They're fresh off a win against the Pelicans. Dialing it in from range on the road is never easy to do. But they pulled it off and played a great game. Yeah, and you could see the crowd's reaction with every make. It wasn't pretty. For three, McCullum. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Their last encounter was in New Orleans, where they were able to handle the Pelicans. Yeah, they were able to execute offensively in a hostile environment, which led to a lot of high percentage shots. Rarely frazzled. They play with a pretty even temperature, in my opinion, throughout this entire game. Oh, oh, easy on the rim. finish right there! Oh, wow. wow! Unbelievable hang time, giving the crowd its money's worth. Go ahead, Zion. Oh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. For Oklahoma City, they've gone three of three so far from the floor. It's Giddy on the wing. Outside, Williams. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Giddy. And I love their energy so far. They're now four for four from the field. To the middle. Here's Williamson. Oh! Throws it down. Such an effective playmaker. You gotta be impressed with CJ's ability to hit open teammates. And that one's good. Holmgren. He's a producer. It's part of their plan to get him as many touches as possible. Dort against Ingram. McCullum outside. Back to Ingram. Fires from deep. And it's Kitty with a rebound. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. If you look at Ingram, it seems like he only gets better with age, Smitty. Yeah, you're so right. There's a case to be made that since he won the Most Improved Player Award in 2020, he's only continued to improve. His game gets more well-rounded every season. Back to Jones. And another basket for New Orleans. The better Jones can shoot off the catch, the more valuable he becomes. Giddy against Jones. And it's Giddy missing. High percentage look for him. But bottom line, they're not all going to go down. McCullum outside. Pass to Valentunas. Over Williams. Valanchunas can't get it to go. And here's Gilgis Alexander. He'll bring it up. Oh, oh, nice. Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow, that type of finish is just deflating right now for a team that's trying to make a comeback. Ouch. That's certainly a big time finish right there. It was one big exclamation point, or maybe even a question mark. Valanchunas with it. He's covered by Holmgren. McCullum against Gilgis Alexander. Stolen by Giddy. And a fast break now for the Thunder. 
Here's Williams. Oh, hey, oh, something oh, else. Oh, wow. Wow. He's shaking the hoop. He's actually shaking the whole building. Oh, what a slam. Look here. The fans going crazy right now. Williamson with a screen on Dort. Williamson outside. Fires for three. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. Not Zion's favorite place to shoot from, but when he's focused, he can drain those. And it's Giddy on the drive, and he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Boy, good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. Also, if you can't get stops at this point, it really doesn't matter what you do at the offensive end. McCollum finds Valanchunas. Here's Ingram. Valanchunas sets a screen. Ingram with the ball. Now guarded by Holmgren. Just five on the clock. Outside Ingram. Here's the three. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Outside, Williams. Let's it go from 11. And there's Gilgis Alexander on the assist from Williams. Gilgis Alexander's got his second basket of the night. The Pelicans trail. McCullum outside. Holmgren against Valanchunas. Outside Ingram. From about 19, that one falls. What I like about Ingram at this point in his career, very decisive in his actions. Here's Holmgren into the lane. And the big finish by Holmgren. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Ingram, the pass to McCollum. Back to Ingram. And he lobs it up. Down low. And Williamson gets it to go. Williamson's got nine. In case anyone was wondering, this is what it looks like when you're in the zone. He hasn't missed one all quarter. Here's Dort. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Thunder. It's all about pace for me. They have set the tone in that area, and they are playing fast, flying up the floor and putting all kinds of pressure on the defense. And something else I've noticed is how they've been able to cause turnovers and take advantage of them on the offensive end, not wasting those extra chances at all. Good from Dort. Well, for the title contenders, Grant, how hard is it to stay focused during this home stretch of the regular season? It is hard, but you know, the best teams have the strong leadership, BA. They have guys that help you stay locked in as a group. So you don't lose sight of the overall goal. And all quarter long, it's been the same story, inconsistent with this offense. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Good work there as it goes. He has six. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Dort against Ingram. Pass to Hawkins. Back to Ingram. Charity stripe shot. And the shot goes down. Amazing how Ingram has emerged as one of the league's best scorers. Outside Giddy. In the layup for two. And they've really managed to dominate inside. And the Pelicans with possession here. A 12-point game. That's tipped. Valanchunas finds Ingram. Goes up at the elbow. Count that bucket. Ingram's got his third bucket of the night. Look at the big man Valanchunas showing off the playmaking skills. Ingram's gone three of six shooting from the field so far. Here's Giddy. That's good. For the day, he's four for six. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Ingram with the ball. He's got six. Inside. 
Here's Valanciunas. And he's in the books. Now one for two. He usually shoots a high percentage in the paint. And on that play, Valanciunas got it done. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for OKC. Ten-point lead. Here he goes. Oh, he gets it to go. So far, he can't miss. He's four for four. They've controlled the paint so far. That's been the difference. I'll tell you, this was their strategy coming in. They obviously identified a weakness there inside. There's McCullough with the three. Williams grabs the board. And it's Oklahoma City's ball. Hey, you look at some of the young star power on OKC. Grant, they haven't had that since the Kevin Durant year. Oh, VA. I mean, those KD teams were built through the draft. So no matter where they're picking, the Thunder seem to uncover gems. Ingram with the ball. And it's Dort picking him up. Out to the right wing. Here's Hawkins. That one's in. Coming off a nice dish from Williamson. Great job keeping his eyes up the floor. Zion's teammate making it easy and getting wide open. Gilgis Alexander feeling it out a bit. Count it. Gilgis Alexander's got 10. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Gilgis Alexander's got a perfect 5 for 5 from the field. Ingram, the pass to McCollum. And the Pelicans hit again from deep. This demonstrates how confident CJ is. Wasting no time and firing away. Outside, Williams. Hey, he's now six for six. He is cooking right now. They have no answer defensively inside. Williams has gotten everything to fall, shooting six for six on the night. McCullum, the pass to Hawkins. Oh, the dunk by Williamson. When Zion dunks it, you can feel it from here. That's how powerful he is. Gilgis Alexander against McCullum. Gilgis Alexander's shot is good. 12 points for him. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Dort against Ingram. Pass to McCullum. From the line. And the Pelicans get another bucket right there. This is why you have to stay attached to C.J. McCullum. He can bury it from anywhere on the floor. Here's Dort. And there's the slam. Dunk to finish it off. And early on, they've been on a tear. Just getting whatever they want offensively. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Valanciunas with it. Here's Ingram. Plenty of room to knock down that one. He's trying to will this team back into it, doing all he can offensively. Boy, this offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you difficult to defend. Despite his slim frame, Shea Gilgis Alexander is showing enough strength to take the hit and complete the play. And it's New Orleans ball. Down by 12. Last game matched up with the Thunder. Tough loss there. In this league, you have to stay active at both ends of the floor. I thought their lackluster defense was the difference in the game. You know, sometimes great skill can overcome a lack of intensity, but it's very rare. At the line for your Pelicans, Brandon Ingram. Two shots. Shoot two. That free throw, good from Ingram. You know, I love that Brandon Ingram continues to grow his game. We've seen him get better at moving the ball, which only makes him more versatile on the floor. Both free throws good from Ingram. So it's the Thunder now. It's a 10-point game. 
And Wiggins gets it to go. The assist by Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got eight assists here tonight. And here are the Pelicans now. Three-pointer. The Thunder pull it in. Uncontested look. Can't fault the shot selection. He's money from there. Here's Wiggins. And it's Hawkins with a rebound. Empty possession, and you don't want to miss these easy looks. There's 38 seconds left to play in the first quarter. To the inside, Ingram. Gilgis Alexander with a rebound. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Leading by 12. Not sure if that's the shot you were looking for, but it's a fairly clean look. Almost have to take it. Hawkins, the pass to Ingram. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Taking things into his own hands this quarter, trying to keep his team afloat. First personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for your Pelicans, Brandon Ingram. One shot. Ingram, no good on the free throw. Williams against Nance. Williams' shot is good. And the Thunder lead by 12. Unselfish, moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. And here's Ingram outside. Oh, it would have counted had it fallen, but it is offline. And as we conclude the first quarter, a one-sided game so far. Thunder out front. They lead by 12. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. to have you with us second quarter of basketball this game has not exactly been neck and neck but plenty of time left in this one and guys we've seen the thunder really take control here it was simple rebounding made all the difference in the first quarter they really got after it yes you know this ga back in our day in any day really if you don't block out somebody you will sit down Here's Oklahoma City now. They'll be playing host to Houston for their next game. And that's the first of just two home games for them. Taking a look at Oklahoma City. They've got Shea Gilgis-Alexander. And it's Hayward in at the three. These defenders really need to man up, particularly in the lane. A late second round pick in 2021. But Aaron Wiggins has earned his way into NBA minutes. And not a big name in college at Maryland, but he just continued developing and everyone, of course, runs their own race. He's here now, and he is capitalizing. Here's Hayward with the drive. Hey, the slam by Hayward. During his career, Hayward has really become more aggressive, never shy in attacking the rim. New Orleans is shooting very well, 62% and going right at the defense. The three ball. Drops in the three. Defensively, you have to tight up on him or suffer the consequences. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Well, the Thunder are still developing, but Shea Gilgis-Alexander embracing his role as a catalyst. He said, well, I have the opportunity to really build something and be at the forefront of it. That's something I know and embrace every single day, and I maximize it for sure. Brian? Oh, you can see it. They're so grateful to have him, too. Thanks, Allie. And the powerful one-handed slam. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. The problem is your opponent is making big plays as well. I'll be curious to see the response. Second quarter here, just over a minute and a half played. 
Pass to Marshall. And down it goes. Dumped it through off a beautiful setup. A little undersized at the four, but he can get off the ground. Here's Gilgis Alexander. SGA working through contact inside. And talk about imposing your will. That's 10 straight points in the paint. Here's McCollum. Can't get it to drop. Some solid defense from Williams. Gilgis Alexander Shea, takes the contact. This team leans on Shea to help shoulder the offense. And he takes this responsibility seriously. There's McCullough with the three. Williams grabs the board. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Wiggins. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. Williams. And taking a look at this first half, they've just shown better shot selection. What they have done is ran their plays all the way through until they get something they like. There's McCullough with the three. Drains the triple. McCollum's got eight. You have to get out there on C.J. McCollum. He is very good at torching defenses from deep. What? Wait. Hey, dunks are always for the big boys. <laughs> Emphatic move by the point guard. Forget just landed in. He wanted to make a statement. As to Hawkins. Up top, McCollum. Now here's Nance. There's the triple. Oh, he missed that one. One for three in this one so far. And Wiggins has got the ball here for the Thunder. It's a 16-point game. Here's Wallace. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. You must stay aggressive. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They came in focused, and they executed. Hawkins can't get it to go. Here's Oklahoma City now. Pass to Wallace. Here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. And that's why you don't give up on the glass. Man, his efforts, well rewarded right there. Working hard, beating everyone to the ball. He does this night in and night out. Gilgis Alexander against McCullum. Here's Hawkins. McCullum outside. Out of bounds. The Thunder will take it. Oklahoma City. And we got a quick moment to take a look at the long-term rebounding numbers over several seasons for Jonas Valanciunas. Unfortunately, we've seen his ability as a rebounder take a back seat these past few seasons. And I'd like to see him refocus on that element of his game. You can never have enough rebounds, in my opinion. It's Hayward on the wing, covered by Ingram. Hey, the slam by Hayward. Length and speed of Hayward is incredibly hard to defend. He loves to ram it through the rim. The Pelicans have gotten over 50% of their shots to go. Five for nine in the second. Here's Ingram. And again, another missed shot. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. And it hasn't just been their stellar offense. Their defense has been effective as well. Yes, when it's going good, it feels easy. Time out, time These out. are the nice relish, but they're tough to replicate. New Orleans calls timeout.
bring up the 2K leaderboard. The NBA's leaders in shooting over the last month. The Pelicans fourth. This is a team that is simply not missing anything right now, and they are just getting more and more confident in themselves every game. For three, McCullum. Hey, he's looking good so far. Four for eight from the field. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Oklahoma City dictating the flow. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Count that one. Gilgis Alexander's got 22. And is it any wonder they're ahead in this game? His perfect night from the field has been the catalyst. To the paint. Here's McCullum. And Gilgis Alexander with a block. Impeccable defense from Gilgis Alexander. For a guard, he blocks a fair amount of shots. Here's Giddy. Ooh, coming through again. Shooting five for seven now. And you have to appreciate the heart they've shown on the offensive boards this quarter. Ingram against Hayward. Outside Ingram. Gets a very good look and converts. Ingram's got 14 points for the game. Great competitive play from Ingram tonight. And his teammates are sharing in his excitement. Oh, misses the dunk. Trying to show off for the fans and give them their money's worth. Just couldn't finish. And a bit of a battle for the ball. The and the official signal a jump ball here. A jump ball. Here we go, all alone. And the bucket counts, and he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. And we heard some coaches saying the league punishes retaliation, and that might even encourage players to instigate. Grant, you think he's got a point? You know, B.A., I think he does. I mean, if guys are creating a dust-up to try to get opposing star players thrown out, the officials cannot reward that. Williamson's checked in for New Orleans. Alvarado comes in for C.J. McCollum. That free throw good from Holmgren. And what you immediately notice about Chet Holmgren is his uniqueness. He's got size, but also tremendous agility. He can hit outside shots or battle down low. Dort against Ingram. Out of bounds. it be Oklahoma City's ball. Oklahoma City ball. Here's a look at what's coming up for the New Orleans Pelicans. On Thursday, they'll take on Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Milwaukee Bucks. And then on Saturday, they'll be facing Al Horford and the Boston Celtics. And for their matchup with the Suns, it's going to be a hard-fought battle. You just hope they are able to execute their game plan as it should be a close one. Marshall, he's checked in for New Orleans. Here's Gilgis Alexander. That one goes in. Gilgis Alexander. Alexander's got 10 points in the quarter. They have leaned on him all quarter, and it has worked to perfection. Pass to Alvarado. That's good, and it's Williamson with the assist. Williamson's got three assists tonight. That's been the story of their offense so far, getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Outside, Williams. Now Dort. The three is up. And his first miss of the night. Now two of three. Williamson outside. Steps back and fires. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. On offense, here are the Thunder. They're on a 19-7 run. A nice shot by Gilgis Alexander. Riding the hot hand, and why not? If something's working, keep going to it. Ingram against Dort. Pass to Alvarado. Ingram up top. Four on the clock. Williams grabs the board. 
It can be a little disheartening when you do everything right and come away with nothing. Look at the power on that. He has to be one of the top dunkers in the game today. Ingram against Dort. And there's a whistle. That's going to go on Lou Dort. That's his first foul. And the NBA's TV deal expires after next season. What are you hearing about where things are headed, Grant? Well, B.A., the league seems focused on greater access for the fans, especially the cord cutters. So with more games on broadcast TV and possibly a streaming package as well. Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City. Jones, the pass to Marshall. Back to Jones. The Thunder with the rebound. Now Giddy. He's coming off a 25-point game against New Orleans. And give him another one. He's 6 of 8 and looking solid. Now here's Alvarado. Defense right on him. Jones from outside. Sinks the trade. Jones has got five now. They are shooting it well from beyond the arc right now. Here are the Thunder with the ball. They're on a 16-7 run. And Williams punches it home. Getting up and then throwing it down. Oh, that was a big hammer right there. And so it's Ingram with it. He brings it up for New Orleans. Milwaukee will be traveling to face them after this game. Marshall. That one's good on the sweet setup by Ingram. Marshall's gotten his third basket of the night. Shut out in the first quarter. He's heating up now. I like the aggressiveness. Here's Giddy. Rebounded by Marshall. You won't see him miss that one too many times. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. And down it goes. For Jam, that one home. Oh, putting on a show for the fans. Going up with a graceful reverse. Oh, that had a little extra sauce on it, Grant. From Pete Giddy. Oh, the Thunder, another three. His efficiency has been a big factor in helping them capture this lead. And the Pelicans shooting the rock well in the second quarter. 55% from the floor. Here's Alvarado. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. To the middle. Holmgren with it. Guarded now by Alvarado. The shot's good. Holmgren's got five points now this quarter. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. And so it's New Orleans with it. Pass to Marshall. Pulls up at the elbow. And that one's good. Ingram. 16 points for him. 
nimble ball handling by Ingram, allowing him to beat the D and find his shot. Now Dort. The shot from the low post is good. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. The Pelicans shooting has been great. 57% and finding ways to score consistently. You know, for my money, Josh Giddy is one of the most entertaining players in the league, Grant. Yeah, he has superb vision in the open floor, B.A. Reads the angles and sees how plays develop with ease. His teammates have to be ready for a pass from Giddy at all times. Here's Giddy. Banked it in off the glass. Giddy's got 17 points. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. Down low. And stolen by Holmgren. Outside Giddy. Again, Oklahoma City. He means business. Unlikely to be a comeback on his watch. Reason why momentum can flip so quickly. We see it time and time again. Teams giving up big leads. Jones, his shot is good. Herb Jones with great balance on that shot. Loves when he plays inside. It's Dort on the wing. Fires the three. Oh, the Thunder, another three. Three. Ooh, he got a clean look, and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. Williamson looking around. Shoots from 12. The Thunder pull it in. Holmgren's got four rebounds now. Here's Williams. Oh, he's been lethal. Connecting again, making him nine for nine. He's really finding his rhythm here. I mean, smart move to keep feeding him the ball. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. Here's Marshall. No good with the triple. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. It's the Thunder running away with this one. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. And hello, everybody. What an amazing first half performance it's been for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Hey, this is their style of basketball. Pushing the tempo, getting easy points in transition. Literally, they're running away with this game. Yeah, they're running off main shots. They don't care. And switching things up just a bit, let's look ahead at the upcoming schedule. And looking at the Bucks matchup, hey, listen, Shaq, they've got their work cut out for them, facing a lot of talent. It'll likely be an uphill battle, but you know what? They love to take these guys down. They love it. Yeah, challenges can bring out your best, but they probably have to go Black Tornado to get the W. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with the third period. Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. You know, Shea Gilgis Alexander has been exceptional here, guys. Hey, we didn't expect this. Not normally a big time assist maker, he's done a great job moving the ball around. And some of it's just a mindset. He came into this game with a very unselfish approach, and his teammates have benefited from it. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. The backcourt, McCullum and Jones, Zion and Valanchunas in the middle, and it's Ingram in at the small forward position. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Valanchunas with a screen on Dort. Ingram finds Valanchunas. Rejected by Holmgren. And you can't forget about Holmgren's reach, especially when he's nearby on defense. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages him to keep attacking on the offensive end. Oh. 
Here's Ingram. Goes up off the inbound. Blocked again! He times his blocks almost perfectly. Holmgren stands his ground and forces the shooter to commit first. And Gilgis Alexander, here we go. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. He's pouring it on at a nice clip, and the rest of the team is stepping up as well. For three, McCullum. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. Holmgren's got six rebounds here tonight. Shaky start to the half. Going one for four. Still trying to find that groove. And that's creativity. Gilgis Alexander continues to amaze. Just an awesome display of athleticism on our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. And here is Williamson. To the inside. And it's McCollum. That time on the assist from Williamson. McCollum's got 13. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. And that one's good. Giddy. Doing great things at the offensive end. Three for four to start this half. For New Orleans, they've gone two of five in this third quarter. Ingram, the pass to Valanciunas. Jones from outside. Valanciunas down low. Dort defending. Valanciunas, good. Valanciunas has got four points now in the quarter. He has to show real leadership out there and take this game into his own hands because he's shooting the ball well. Yeah, the guard instincts of Gilgis Alexander. I mean, fantastic work dishing the rock to uncover teammates. There's the screen. Jones drives in. Holmgren with the block. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Gilgis Alexander uses the glass on the layup. Gilgis Alexander's got 33 points. These are big buckets. He's been instrumental in helping them try to close out this game. And here's Ingram from the arc. He buries it from three. This speaks to Ingram's confidence. He knows he has this shot in his bag. McCullum against Gilgis Alexander. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. Here in the second half, they've just found better shots. For them, the first half was maybe more of a filling out process. Now it's winning time. And there's a defensive three-second call. New Orleans ball! At the line for one, Herbert Jones. No good on the technical, so unable to pick that one up. A high second round pick. Herb Jones has done a nice job turning himself into a rotational piece. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City.
take a minute to see the top free throw shooters in the rookie class. Third is Chad Holmgren. This is a rookie who is not easily rattled. Very strong at the line over the last month. in the quarter. The persistence of Valanchun is paying off in a big way on the glass. He is just a tremendously hard worker. Here's Dort. He takes it in. And he jams it home with authority. Oh, wow. Dort just going off. Making a big show of how athletic he can be. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Brian, among the new trophies introduced last year, no doubt the Michael Jordan trophy given to the league MVP is the most distinctive. And while its design elements honor aspects of Jordan's great career, he asked that the trophy not be fashioned in his likeness. Instead, Brian, the hope is for each recipient to be able to see themselves in the award. All right, Allie, love that. Thanks. Here's Ingram. He's got 22. The long distance three is buried. Ingram's got 25 points in the game. We talk about the many ways Brandon Ingram helps this team. Stretching out the defense is one of them. Here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. And he's been an ideal teammate tonight. He's really creating plenty of looks with his passing. There has been an emphasis on ball movement, and he's been a major catalyst. Pass to Jones. Inside. Oh, the dunk by Williamson. Beautiful pass by Jones, keeping his head on a swivel and creating the wide open look. Dort against Ingram. Hey, how's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. Just an incredible display of power. He attacked the rim with both hands. Most definitely, that was a thunder dunk. Wow. Oh, sweet oh my goodness. This is how dangerous a scorer Zion is. Outstanding at putting his team on his back. Here's Williams. That one rolls around and rims out. And Ingram has got the ball here for New Orleans. Pass to McCullum. To the paint. Here's Williamson. Then Williamson throws it down. That's how you share the wealth. CJ sets up his teammate with a sweet pass. Outside, Williams. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Jones finds Ingram. Jones against Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Williamson. Pulls up. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Holmgren. New Orleans ball. The Thunder making a switch here. Hayward's checked in. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. It may be a player's league, but the coaches obviously play a big part as well. Yeah, if that weren't the case, you wouldn't see so many coaching changes in the offseason.
So it's the Pelicans now. Just five to shoot. And here's Ingram from the arc. Sinks it from distance. Ingram's got nine points in the quarter. Talking about heating up. At halftime, he had just one made from beyond the arc, but he's drained three more since. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. Physical D, but Shea shows unreal body control when driving to the bucket. New Orleans has gone three of five from downtown here in the second half. Williamson outside. Steps back and shoots. And it's McCollum. That time on the assist by Williamson. Williamson's got his sixth assist of the night. Oklahoma City's gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. Here's Gilgis Alexander, and there it is for him. Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got 39. The ability to alternate tempo off the bounce. This is how Gilgis Alexander keeps defenders guessing. Here's Ingram. Again, the Pelicans, good for two. It's amazing. No one can check him right now, but there's still work to do to cut into this lead. McCollum against Gilgis Alexander. Here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. The B.A., when he gets the rim in his sights, it's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. Well, the Pelican shooting has been excellent in the third quarter at 57%. Ingram on the wing. Guarded by Hayward. Up again. It's good on the putback. Alan Junis has got 10 points. What a turnaround for him since the half. More aggressive and more effective. Holmgren inside. McCollum defense. And get up, Chet. Wow. The next unicorn with the fancy slam. And Ingram has got the ball here for the New Orleans Pelicans. Puts up a three. The Thunder with the rebound. Williams has got his fourth rebound in this one. On the take. And Williams punches it home. <laughs> just a strong finish there, guys. Hey, needed just one hand to do it. McCullum looking it over. There's the three. A rebound by Shea Gilgis Alexander. And he's going to have to wait to hit his first triple of this half. He had three at the break. Giddy passes to Gilgis Alexander. Nice D from Valanchunas. That was excellent contest, preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. Pass to Ingram. To the middle. Here's Jones. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they will count the bucket. Well, at least the D was going for it, but he got to the ball just a moment late. Oklahoma City's gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. Here's Hayward. The Pelicans pull it in. Alan Tunis has got rebound number eight now. McCullum, the pass to Hawkins. And here's Ingram. The three is up. Knocks down the triple. Ingram's got 33 points. When this guy starts hitting threes, watch out. He's just pouring it on this half. Here's Wiggins. Great D that time from Williamson. New Orleans has gone four of nine from beyond the arc since the break. Oh, the dunk by Williamson. You see how advanced Zion is as a ball handler. That's guard-like stuff right there. Out to the wing. Here's Wallace. That one's good, and it's Hayward with the setup. Hayward's got four assists in the game. Good decision-making. Scopes the situation, puts the pass right on the mark. Now here's Ingram. 33 points for him. And he's off from 17. Williams against Valanchunas. 
Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. <laughs> Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. Personal foul. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Thunder. They are dominating the paint in this one. Consistent work inside throughout the game. They're also finding a lot of points tonight off of transition play. Running the floor and using the fast break to beat the defense. And he makes a first. And the Pelicans making a change here. Both shots good from the strike. And New Orleans shooting about 56% in this one. Down low. Here's Nance. And Nance with the slam. One of the cases where height fails to tell you the whole story. And so it's Oklahoma City with it. Pass to Joe. A minute 39 left in the third quarter here. And very few teams rely on mid-range jumpers nowadays. But that's been their preferred way of finding points. Williamson right side. And Williamson throws it down. I just love the strong finish there inside. Man, he's got that dunker's mindset, doesn't he? Always ready to pounce. Here's Wallace. McCullum defends. Wallace misses. New Orleans has gone four of nine from beyond the arc since the break. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. Hawkins has gotten his second bucket on the night. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. You know what? They talked about this at halftime. And they're doing a better job of creating space. <laughs> Once he breaks out the crossover, you just know something special is about to happen. For three, McCullum. It doesn't go for him. Oklahoma City has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. Here's Hayward. And he drops in the layup Gordon off the Hayward. glass. Hayward's got four points in the quarter. I like the tenacity from Gordon Hayward. This is a guy who is a gamer. Pass to Williamson. Here's Hawkins. Offline with a three. And so it's Wiggins with it. He brings it up for OKC. Williams' shot is good. Williams has got his third basket on the night right there. And it gets even worse for them. I mean, he just waltzes down the lane, extending their advantage. Ugh, not good. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. McCollum's shot is off. Here's Wallace. And that's not going to go. At the end of the third quarter, a huge lead. This one may have already been decided. Thunder out in front, opening up a huge gap. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling here on 2K Sports. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today coming from an unlikely position. It's the big fellow with the sweetest pass of the day. You know, it takes good vision and it takes good decision making right there. He showed both and he did so at a very high level. As we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. Taking a look at Oklahoma City. They've got Gordon Hayward, and it's Joe in at the two. Jones, the pass to McCollum. 
and even the players have expressed concern about load management. Will he change his foot, or is this the new normal, Greg? Well, B.A., I think protecting players from injury is smart to do, but maybe the ticket sellers need to highlight the back-to-back -back game so fans are well aware that some players might be sitting. And the first one at the line is good. And the Pelicans making a change here. It's both from the stripe. Hayward with it. Hey, the slam by Hayward. Something that's evolved in this league, the level of strength training. Hayward can now easily muscle through contact. And New Orleans shooting has been excellent so far, around 56%. McCullough, pass to Nance. Nance with a screen on Hayward. Back to Nance. And Nance with the slam! A brilliant dunk, and he hangs up there for a while, too. Like he's posing for the camera. He's just hanging out, posing for pictures, just making himself at home. Here's Joe. And he gets it to go from the high post. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Ingram with the ball. Hayward picks him up. Don't sleep on Ingram as a facilitator. Has the size to see over defenders and make sound decisions. Here's Hayward. Well, Grant, we've seen some teams double up with superstar players in the same position in recent years. Sometimes it works. Yeah, you know, and other times it doesn't work. I mean, it forces a coach to be very creative. When you have multiple players who are used to being the guy, it can be hard to keep everyone happy. And there's the whistle. That one goes on Herb Jones. That's his first foul. The Umbo, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. For Oklahoma City, they've gone a perfect three for three here in the fourth. Here's Hayward going inside. Hey, the slam by Hayward. The strength of Hayward really exerting his will on his way to the bucket. To the left side wing. Here's Hawkins. Pass to Nance. Outside Ingram. Six on the shot clock. New Orleans needs to hurry. Late clock. Good on the bucket. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. And Hayward has got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Over Ingram. And it's Oklahoma City scoring again. All of a sudden, he's balling. Halftime adjustments successful so far. Pass to Ingram. The three hits the trifecta. Ingram's got 36 points. Ingram looks to take these corner threes whenever possible. Nice play. Biombo can't hit. I'm not sure how he's going to explain that shot later. Low percentage chance. If it's not there, give up the rock. Trust your teammates. And he recovers it. Outside Ingram from the arc. And the Pelicans hit again from deep. They're collecting plenty of second chance points this half. That alone can keep a team in a game. Here's Joe. Money from 17 feet out. Their success from mid range has wow. really set them apart today. 
Ingram against Hayward. Poke loose. And there's the drive. Hey, the slam by Hayward. This is Gordon Hayward, an unselfish player who can also light it up himself and can do it for long stretches. Outside Ingram. Shoots over Hayward. And misses it off the right side of the rim. For Oklahoma City, they've gone 7 of 8 in this fourth quarter. Here's Wallace, defended by Jones. Wallace. That one's good for two. And it's the Pelicans with the ball. Pass to Hawkins. Let's go with a three. That one's good on the sweet setup by Ingram. They're really employing a deep range initiative here in the fourth, and it's working. Interesting approach coming down the stretch, looking to rack up points in chunks. Hayward, the Pelicans pull it in. Left side Ingram. Jones from outside. Joe grabs the miss. Hasn't been able to dial it in from distance. He has just the one three, and that was in the first half. Biombo can't hit. New Orleans has gotten three threes to fall out of four attempts here in the fourth. Ingram, the pass to Nance. Outside for Ingram. From outside the arc. And for the players coming into the league, potentially set for life. But there are pitfalls you have to look out for, Grant. It's so true, B.A. I mean, it's tough. You can't take all your childhood friends along for the ride with you. You've got to be cautious with new acquaintances. So it'll definitely keep you on your toes. You must make great decisions. Timeout called. The Thunder. Jonas Valanciunas has checked in for Nance. Zion Williamson comes in for Ingram. And it's McCollum in for Jones. Williams has checked in for Oklahoma City. Jang comes in for Hayward. Here's Wallace. McCullum defends. And again, Oklahoma City no good. The Pelicans have gotten six of ten attempts to drop in the fourth quarter. Tries to keep it alive. Out of bounds. The Thunder will take it. Here's Wallace. Over McCollum. Good. Wow. That's his fifth bucket in nine attempts. And so McCollum will bring it up for New Orleans. Launches it. The rebound by Wiggins. Wiggins has got five rebounds tonight. 
Oklahoma City time calls out, time timeout. Oklahoma City. Start it. He's checked in for the Pelicans. Here's Wallace, and that bucket makes him six for ten in the contest. So it's the Pelicans now. McCullum outside. Pass to Williamson. The layup off target. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession, except for the result. Here's Joe, and it's Oklahoma City scoring again. It's been an outstanding performance for them in just about every area. Especially considering it's on the road in front of a tough crowd. They've been able to block out the distractions. The value of good ball movement isn't lost on this squad. Oklahoma City has gone three of six from deep so far. Here's Wallace. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's going to be on C.J. McCollum. The officials were right on top of that one. Shooting for Oklahoma City. Wallace taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Perfect from the line this time. Here's Ingram. One more dime and he'll have a double-double. They've really relied on him to help control the pace and flow of this offense. Shoots from 14. And that was good. Ingram's got 41. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Wallace's shot is good. 
absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Expanding upon this lead, trying to close it out. He's really stepped up. For three, McCullum. Williams grabs the board. Trying to shoot himself out of his slump. And it's not going well. Over Williamson. Williams misses. The Pelicans have gotten 8 of 15 during the fourth quarter. Wiggins against Ingram. The three from Valanciunas gets it. He's 6 for 10 and looking confident out there. Valanciunas had his hands up and ready on that catch and shoot. He wanted it. Here's Wallace. Pelicans cleared away. Valanciunas has got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. For three, McCullum. The shot, no good. Coming out of halftime, he wanted to start strong, yet the opposite happened. Here's Williams. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. New Orleans has gone four of nine from three-point range in the fourth. Outside Ingram. To the inside. And Valanciunas gets it to go on the assist by Ingram. Valanciunas has got 13 in the second half. Here's Wallace. McCullum defends. Wallace misses. And it's Jones with the ball for New Orleans. This one for three. And McCullum, good for three. Continuing from where he left off. First three-pointer of this half, fourth of the game. Oklahoma City has gone three of six from deep so far. Here's Wallace. Oh, no good again that time. McCullum outside. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Ingram. McCullum's got 20. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. And for the Thunder, they're shooting 76%. You don't see this often. Releases. Wallace misses. The Pelicans shooting 60% here in the fourth quarter. Terrific efficiency. McCullum against Wiggins. To the paint. Here's Ingram. And a slam dunk by Ingram. Strong move by Brandon. He's playing with such great confidence these days. The Thunder shooting 55% since the start of the fourth. Here's Wallace. In the game. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Here's New Orleans now. They're on a 16-4 run. Ingram, the pass to Valanciunas. And the dunk by Valanciunas. Love the flush there from Valanciunas, leaving no doubt on that play. We've got a minute 48 left to play in the fourth. Shot from 16. Rebounded by New Orleans. McCollum finds Williamson. Back to McCollum. And McCollum slams it in. I like how aggressive CJ is on offense. He is taking the shots he wants. It's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the Thunder. It's impressive how the reserve players stepped up and delivered in this one. They didn't just help out. They made a big impact and really secured the win for their team. And so they powered through to their 51st win of the year. And they end up winning the season series. Always feels good to have that upper hand over an opponent. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for Shea Gilgis Alexander. You have to appreciate the unselfishness. He kept the ball moving, kept everyone involved. Really enjoyable to watch. Wiggins against Ingram. Back to McCollum. Takes the three and another dime for him. That makes 15 assists. He has been one step ahead of the defense all time game out, long. Out. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. They're ahead by 19. There's 48 seconds left to play in the fourth.
New Balance Player of the Game, Shea Gilgis Alexander. Yeah, and this game really has his fingerprints all over it. He's been dominating and making it look effortless. It's always fun to watch someone just flat out take over like he's done here today. You know, some guys aren't the same player on the road. Not this guy. He loves sticking it to an opposing crowd, and it only adds fuel to his fire. Here's Wallace. Alvarado defending to get back on track. Wallace's Wallace. shot is good. Excellent effort on the road. They've literally sucked the energy out of this arena. And when you're on the road, you can't be tentative coming into a game like this. I thought their aggressive approach was the difference. And it's Alvarado missing. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Outside, Williams. Here's Joe. Three-pointer, no good. Here's Hawkins. Down low. Oh, well, that was clearly a foul. Personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for New Orleans. Nice eat Marshall. Two shots. First one falls. Good on both. 16 seconds left in the fourth. How about on G? Here's Hayward. No good from 18. Now Ingram. And so it's the Thunder taking care of business in this one. A statement road victory. So impressive. Statement in DBA. It was in enemy territory. But they controlled the game and took the crowd completely out of it. That's how you win on the road. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for watching tonight's game. Now our New Balance player of the game, Shea Gilgis-Alexander.